my gosh, it's over 50 degrees and sunny. Hi, if you're new here, my name's Erin. I vlog while I run. I vlog. I'm currently training for my first full marathon. Every day is a struggle. We are currently social isolate, or not isolation, social distancing. The kids are out of school. I'm working from home. Help. <laughs> but we have four miles scheduled for today. First running outfit of the day. Stop, hammer time. I feel like such a hypocrite right now because yesterday I posted on Instagram with my LaCroix, like no beer for me, healthy choices. Well, what did I do last night? I got the kids St. Patrick's Day cookies. I freaking ate like five of them. What, what good did that do me? And that's fine and all, like I'm not saying when there's holidays, I shouldn't tr get, have a little treat here and there, but this year that I'm training for this marathon, how is that helping me? I really need to prioritize that. So if I have to sacrifice some sugar cookies with green dye in them, they weren't even that good, in order to have a more enjoyable marathon, I'm gonna do that, or really try and do that. Yeah, I just hate, hate when I feel like a hypocrite like that. Because when I posted the Instagram post, I had every intention of just eating my healthy dinner that I cooked. And that's it. Does anyone else do that? I don't know what gets spread on the farm fields this time of year besides fertilizer, but whatever it was, it was white. And I just inhaled it for a good five minutes because it was sprayed on every single section of the field. <laughs> It is what it is. There is crazy stuff going on in the world right now with this COVID-19 stuff. So let's get some extra healing vibes from tree tunnel. Extra good vibes from the, uh, from the tree tunnel. Some for me. Ooh, those were good ones. Those were good ones. I can feel it. Think of all the people not watching these videos. They're just completely missing out on tree tunnel vibes. <sighs> All right, we got half a mile till we can turn around and go home to the craziness. Are your houses crazy right now with schools closed and working from home? Squirrel! On my way back through the tree tunnel, I stopped to take a picture of myself pretending to meditate for Instagram. Priorities, you know? I found this channel of someone else that vlogs themselves while they run. He's new, uh, I think, to YouTube. Let me find his channel here. But I wanted to give him a shout out. He's a little different. I don't think he's training for a marathon, but he does interesting things for each run, like running with hot soup and letting TikTok decide how many miles he runs, or meters, I guess, for them. Yeah, his name and channel is called Mac Taylor, and he basically talks about a specific subject while he runs, which I think is really cool. It's what I would like to do, but I'm way too all over the place to do that. So I'll link his channel in the description and check him out, show him some love. This is the current situation that I have to run by. I'm not even sure what that stuff is, but there's someone standing right in the cloud of it, so I guess it can't be too bad. This run felt pretty good. I think stopping to get that Instagram picture, like fully sitting down, was not the best idea, because then it was like, ugh, kind of harder to get going. But feeling pretty good. Friday, we only have, I think, two and a half miles at a fast pace. And that's almost kind of, I almost want to say it's just as hard as a long run because I have to run at a faster pace. But I do like it because it's over sooner. <laughs> anyway, to go along with what I was saying earlier, I just want to really going forward focus on making the best decisions for the marathon. I mean, hopefully it's still on in November. 
so you know not drinking a beer when we go out eating better no sugar all that good stuff and then after the marathon hopefully I'm at a better place health wise and weight wise and it won't matter if I have a cookie here and there or a beer I mean who knows maybe I'll just never drink again oh almost at the cool down hill another four miles in the books hmm. let me know how you guys are doing I know this will be a week in the future when you see this so hopefully things are not getting worse I also hope it's not insensitive that I'm still posting videos I just feel like they're positive or I hope they're positive and for some people they're part of their routine to watch. With that being said, make sure to like this video. It really supports my ego, but really it supports my channel. <sighs> so I can keep making these videos and hopefully get to that marathon. Your comments are my accountability. Sometimes I'm a little late answering them, but usually I have follow-up questions for you guys because I am nosy. And be sure to subscribe if you're not already so you can follow along with this marathon training and life because let's be honest, life is one big struggle, just like this marathon training. So let's do it together. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time.